Debug terminals let you debug JavaScript code without any configuration. They're enabled by VS Code's new JS debug functionality, which is included in VS Code Insiders, but if you're using VS Code 145, make sure to go to the marketplace and install the JS debug nightly, and you want the JS debug nightly extension here. So just make sure you install that if you're on VS Code 145, but on Insiders, that is not required. It is built in. Now, let's say that we wanted to debug this node program here. So we have a simple node program. It is running this code, which then forks off um, some child worker processes. And say we want to debug that. So to get started, I'm just going to open up the command palette with Control Shift P on Windows and Linux or Command Shift P on Mac and say create debug terminal. So uh, create JavaScript debug terminal. And I'm going to run that command. And you'll see that it's gone and created a new terminal down here, so a new integrated terminal. This looks just like my normal terminal. I can run normal terminal commands in there. But if I run any node applications from here, um, I will automatically start debugging those. So if I wanted to debug the file here, all I have to do is say node cluster.js. I have my breakpoint set. And as soon as I launch this, VS Code automatically attaches. And now we are going and debugging the code here. So I didn't have to configure anything. I didn't have to use any command line flags to attach here. I just have automatically attached. And now I can step through my file and do all my normal debugging operations. Now, another cool thing about JS debug is that it also automatically attaches to any child processes that are spawned. So here, we've uh, spawned off a bunch of child processes. These child processes have each created a server. And if we go and we visit one of these servers down here, so just visit this, you can see that, again, we've automatically hit the code here. So the JS debug extension automatically detected that the child processes respond, and it starts debugging those as well. So pretty cool. You can use debug terminals to debug both client-side and server-side JavaScript. As I mentioned, this functionality is still in a preview, but we're hoping to ship it in stable VS Code soon. Um, and if you're working and you're debugging JavaScript, and especially Node code often, they're super helpful. They make it really easy to run and debug tests and run and debug other Node scripts. So definitely give them a try.